Thank you, everybody. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Um, 23 years ago, uh, Kohlberg, Kravis and Roberts launched the largest corporate takeover in history, <laughs> purchasing RJR Nabisco for an astonishing $109 per share. In 1973, the London Stock Exchange lost an astonishing 74% of its value, combined with a near total collapse in both commercial and residential property values. St Lawrence's Church in Broughton in Buckinghamshire is a Grade 1 listed building predominantly because of its remarkable series of medieval wall paintings. <laughs> um, no, none of this has anything to do with the show. It, it just goes to show how your mind wanders when you're a bit nervous. <laughs> um, um, but, but before, before, before we begin, I'd just like to mark the passing of Augustus Stanley Oosley III, who died sadly this year. For those of you who don't know, Mr. Oosley was a hippie from the 1960s era, and, ar and arguably responsible for the entire psychedelic period as he pioneered the industrial production of LSD. <laughs> on, on one occasion, he was caught with over 350,000 tabs of acid in his possession. His legal defence was they were for his own personal use. <laughs> um, we, we, we miss you, dude. <laughs> Always. Um, I think it was the great 19th century romantic poet, William Wordsworth, who 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 advised on when embarking on any great artistic endeavour, the only way to begin is to begin. So um, here goes. I, I like a bit of banter with my <laughs> older answers. So, so has anyone, anyone here got a um, Nobel Prize? <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? No? Any, anyone here? A, mem a member of the um, Rothschild banking dynasty? <laughs> just, just, no? No? Fine? Fine. Anybody here? Any, anybody? Anybody? Um, been a member of a family that's been in merchant banking for 200 years <laughs> and has got several estates in Buckinghamshire. <laughs> a anyone here? <laughs> anyone here? Anyone here with a merchant banking background? Uh, OK. Is anyone here? <laughs> is, is anyone here? Um, Got a bank account. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have, madam. Yeah, yeah. Who are you with? Fine. <laughs> um, no, that's really good. Do you like them? Do you, you, you good, 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 good for them? Yeah. What? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Take care of your tax. Fucking hell. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> right. Um right. Um so so um so um what 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 am I going to do now? Um I just want to outline to you briefly what my um ambitions are for for today's gig. Um ideally I'd like this gig to be supercharged <laughs> if possible um possibly metaphorically i'd like to blow the roof off <laughs> and i'd like it to be silly with a capital s <laughs> um, what are my tactics for achieving that 
Firstly, firstly, in in comedy, I'm a big believer in enthusiasm. So ideally, ideally, I'd like to be enthusiastic and uh, bring bring an awful lot of energy and tension into the room. I don't I don't want it to be harrowing. <laughs> so that's that's off the agenda. So don't worry, it'll be fine. <clears throat> right. So what's 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 my methodology? What's my methodology for for writing writing new material? Okay, so I I tend to set ex absurdly long timescales for writing new material, like a month, um, rather than say the next hour, and then do something else during that time. <laughs> Things I've done rather than write new material. <laughs> For the show, so I've tied it up. Um, I found an old set of headphones, um, which, which still work fine, actually. Um, I made some toast. Got a new broadband provider. Um, um, yeah, it's always worth doing because you don't. You, you really don't. You, some of the deals out there are amazing. Um, who are you with? What the fuck? Why? 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 Have you got the super fast broadband? The whole? No. Yeah, I know. I know they are. Yeah. 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 Who are you with? Um, Sky. Oh wow. Yeah, that's shit as well. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll tell you who I've gone with. Um, talk talk. <laughs> and the, the deal they gave me was. Right, um, um, what else? I thought a re a, for a really long time about show titles. I looked at my junk emails for much longer than necessary and I did a bit of filing. Um, so here are possible show titles for my show. Okay. Edward Axel, Necessity is the Mother of Invention. Yeah, nice, I like that. <laughs> Edward Axel from the corner of his imagination. <sighs> Fucking excellent. <laughs> Edward Axel, the echoes of my mind. <laughs> Edward Axel provides 101 ways to start your own business. <laughs> it's sort of easier to write that one. You can just sort of come up with shit. Um, the Edward Axel anomaly. Fucking excellent. Edward Axel Thoughts, a show about tidying up. <laughs> Edward Axel, things are never as bad as they seem, even when they actually seem really bad. <laughs> Edward Axel, hostile. <laughs> no? Edward Axel, is Edward Axel an island? <laughs> a moment with Edward Axel and his oddness. Edward Axel would just like to sit still and admire a flower. <laughs> Edward Axel vaguely wonders whether he should apply for an allotment occasionally. <laughs> right, OK. Here's a list of very short statements for, for absolutely no reason whatsoever. <laughs> so, if we'd known they had that many tanks, we'd never have started the war. <laughs> It's very hard to get one step ahead of the Vikings. <laughs> Artificial intelligence is the first practical step for humanity to achieve eternal life. Saw that on the telly. <laughs> Does anyone out there think Elvis was actually an artist? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Elvis was not an artist. Yeah, yeah, OK, so artistically, tell me, tell me then, <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> tell me, what, what did he do that was artistic, other than a bit of warbling? Wardrobe. That, he, someone else did his wardrobe. Attitude. No, but you, you can't be an artist because, you, because you know, I don't know. You, you can. You, you can. 
Yeah, 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 but no, tell me, tell me, tell me in, you know, in, in the pantheon of great art, like sort of, you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, the pantheon of great art, who, 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 you know, I, um, I was thinking of Moliere or something. Whoever he was, um, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not sort of up there with Proust or Tolstoy, really, is he? No, he's not. No, is he? No, he's not. No, but no, but every great artist has to be, it has to be comparable with every other great artist, don't they? It's like Einstein's comparable with. Genres. It, it doesn't matter about genres. Okay, so what exactly did Elvis? Other than his wardrobe <laughs> and being rude to people, what did he provide to the world? And a bit of warbling. Uh, he provided an... Um... Cheeseburger on his Well, plate. he provided... <laughs> yeah, he died. He provided died. a false sense of love to those without. Yeah, but he didn't do that sort of consciously, <laughs> did he? Maybe so. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. No, yeah, it is a theory. Not true, though. <laughs> right, OK. An artist is a person who can hold two totally opposing views and still function at the same time. So for this to work, for this to work, I, I, I believe this is, this, is, this is me, this is what goes on in my mind, OK? So I, I hold two totally opposing views, so... I can't believe it's not butter, <laughs> OK? And yet, and yet, and yet, I can believe it's butter. <laughs> it's not butter. That's how that works. So um, the second one is, my career is clearly over. And yet, my career is not over. See what I mean? So that's how it works didn't quite work <laughs> okay and I'll finish on this um, I've selected some industries which people will always need okay so people will always need these things so the first one's obvious funeral directors everybody's got to die okay obvious accountants not sure why medicine people will always need pills restaurateurs People will always need to eat in a nice ambience for a reasonable price. <laughs> Fonts. People will always need a good font for writing documents. Category management. People will always need a category. And cabin services directors. People will always need someone to supervise general services on long-haul flights. Right, that's that bit. So that's the point where I actually start the show. Um, um, and we could, we could go into a bit more detail on, on what the show's about, um, um, sort of as an end. We, we, we could? Well, it's up to you. No, fine. Um, anyway, tight ladies and... Yeah. What? Everyone's doing a tight ten. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm going. <laughs> um, um, right. Uh, anyway, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Axel. Thank you and good night. <laughs>